probably speak as well. Yeah. Just trying to feel the lap first, initiate it through the lap movement and not, obviously your arms are levers, but you want to have that connection. So that's what, why are you using the thick bar? Well, it's so we're taking a full grip out of it sort of thing, so we're not stressing. <laughs> yeah. So it's... So you take the biceps out exactly, as well. Exactly, take the biceps out of it. And just, it makes you perform it more strictly. And I think you, sometimes you tend to over grip as well on a narrow bar. Yeah. You might waste, I don't know what percentage, but you definitely waste some energy just from your grip. So we'll warm up nicely on that. It's a nice thin. especially made bar, isn't it? The... Yeah. So we had that fabricated from an Olympic bar. That was a bit bent. And we cut it down for us and just we wanted some fat ribs. Even though I've got a little girl's hands, but... Yeah, it works nicely. Bit of an initiative. How long have you been training yeah. at Blitz now, Paul? Properly, <laughs> <laughs> um, On and off for 10 years. Yeah. With other injuries and work on the but yeah, 10 years. Why is it a good tr place to train? It's no nonsense. It's very direct. It's good community. Not that you're there just for purely the community of the gym, yeah. but it's the right environment again so it's just the right thing so you can obviously you can just get on with it as you say but also yeah. you've got people support you and but yeah it's, it's got a good network and there's a, quite a lot of knowledge amongst the people that train here yeah um the added advantage is it's not just a messy corporate with lots of ego i mean this gym is on the level so anyone comes to the threshold everyone's you know it starts with in some way shape or fashion you've come in here to modify your physique yeah. Number one. So everyone's on the same tip. And you're primarily training, primarily training for bodybuilding as such. Have you ever trained powerlifting or anything else or has it always been bodybuilding? I've done a bit of, I wouldn't say powerlifting, but strength training. We throw that in as well. Yeah. Um, my physique, like I say, I'm a little pedal, so I'll get injured quite easily. But um, we, do do, <laughs> we, do, we do, do more mass movements, more compound things, and then throw in... Recently we did six weeks of purely just going back, low reps. Yeah. Um, you know, we do do the sets, but we do low reps and big weight and just pyramid that up. So we were purely for strength training. So you now sort of training at the moment for more sort of hypertrophy and yeah, sort of higher exactly, reps and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So we've got a strategy in place. So we will put on the strength and a bit of size and then we'll refine that a little bit with that. Yeah. And then sculpt a little bit. But then you've got to, you've got to mix it in. It's my ethos. So we have to mix it. Right. Sean, you can have a look. Yes. Okay. You. Jump in as well. How long have you been training at Blitz, Sean? Oh, I've been training at Blitz for three about three years now. Yeah. More specifically, bodybuilding training for me. Yeah. Uh, I've never really been into cardio. wise not saying that's bad, but my physique is naturally really thin. Right. So, so you can I find do any it easy cardio. to cut down a yeah. lot more than I do bulking up. Yeah. So when you train for bodybuilding, if you're sort of naturally kind of, uh, you say you were thin or skinny, would you say like ectomorphic? So like a yes, when you yeah, start, yeah, you were yeah. you were more of a distance runner type build. Yeah, I'm still muscular. Yeah. But very lean. So I've had to eat eat a lot more than what some people would have to just to yeah. maintain size, let alone. Yeah. Put size on. How often do you? How many times a week do you train on average? Uh, we're five to six days. No less than five. Yeah. No less than five. Sometimes I'd, I'd never have two days off in a row. Yeah. It would always be like a Wednesday yeah. and a Sunday. Yeah. So I don't have 48 hours off in a row. It'd be two training on, one off, two on, yeah. one off. That sort of vibe. Are you doing a, a standard sort of uh, split as such, or do you? Yeah. I mean, at the moment we are training hamstrings and quads separately yeah so none get favored so no we're not pre-exhausted or we're not fatigued yeah by doing the quads before the hamstrings so they slack or the hamstrings before the quads so they don't get as well as good training as the as the other part would so we've started to mix them up and uh put my quads in with biceps because when you train quads that's when you release the most natural growth hormone yeah so if you've got a weak body part it's a good good time to train what you would call your weak body part after quads. Right. Okay. Fantastic tip there. Thank you very much, Sean. Look at this shut up now. This is Russell Wilson with Blitz.